Life has been tough lately, but it has also restored to me something very precious. And I might have gone a little overboard. Secret Project 2 is coming, hopefully plagued by fewer delays than Secret Project 1, though I think more likely to have an actual plague in the story. The Frugal Wizard's Guide for Surviving Medieval England is being released on ebook and audiobook for Kickstarter backers on April 1st, which is some kind of setup if I've ever heard one. Just watch, it's actually going to be Cosmere. This was the one title I could partially read in Brandon's initial video. Also, the mock-up cover very clearly shows Europe in the background. If you didn't back the Kickstarter, you'll have to wait until April 10th to pick it up electronically, or pre-order from Dragonsteel after physical fulfillment is done, or wait for the general release in July, I think. At last year's Dragonsteel Con, they released art prints for each secret project. That's where we first saw this from Tress. If you've read the preview chapters, this may be the woman our hero meets in chapter 6, Sephawin. Maybe. We actually, we, uh, I don't know. I interviewed Steve Argyle last year, and he told me a bit about the process of illustrating this book. The art is not necessarily going to be showing moments from the story, but will be illustrating the correct mood. Also, Steve just kept on bringing them pieces he was working on, and they just kept saying yes to them, so I expect there to be a whole lot of illustrations in this one. It's supposed to be more action-adventure-y, particularly in comparison to the fairy tale vibe of the last one. Time travel Jason Bourne style. A guy arrives in an Earth-light dimension, which he apparently owns. It's not strictly time travel, as technically that world's the same age as the original Earth, but it's just developed slower, apparently. I don't know, it's sort of wibbly-wobbly for me. Anyway, our unnamed hero seems to have experience with combat, espionage, and is used to carrying a gun. Very Jason Bourne. He's got medical nanites, subdermal plating, even a private augmented reality type heads-up display. Expensive augments for someone flying coach. He may either be being followed or is doing the following of someone else with red hair. There's a lot of in-world jargon being used that we don't really get any explanation for in the first six chapters. Scop, Aelv, Ayrs, Kraft, lots of these. Encyclopedia. White is probably the same as usual, which could get creepy. And that's all we've got. It's not Cosmere, it's amnesia, and it's time travel, but not. Given the equivalent time period, we may see some holes being dug with a mat hook. I get too proud of these. Oh my gosh. Thanks for your support, Matt and Doug. Thank you also to the rest of my patrons, without whom I couldn't devote so much time to these videos. If you like what I do, consider joining the Dougs on Patreon. The more supporters we get, the sooner I'll be able to release merchandise. We've had some great ideas on my Discord, which you should also join. My next video, I promise, is the fourth Cosmere Connections, unless you count the videos I did for Lost Metal and Tress, in which case it's the sixth going into Edge Dancer and Oathbringer. I'm a little relieved I won't have to do one for Frugal Wizard, but even in the preview chapters, there's already some excellent tidbits I'm excited to talk about. Ebook is being released next week, so I hope you're ready to read and find out. Uh.